What's the best croissant in Ottawa? That's a question we're going to answer today. I have a few good ideas for where we can find a really good croissant. And we are going to go to every single one of those places, uh, starting from the west side of the city, moving our way through to the market and the east side of the city. We're going to get one croissant from each, and we are going to taste test each one. And we're going to figure out an objective way of rating each one of these croissants, and we're going to answer the question forever. Who has the best croissants in Ottawa? Let's go. only found six croissants somehow. To be honest, I thought I was gonna come back with like a good 15, 16, but turns out I went to 13 places that were open today and only six of them were serving croissants. Either they hadn't baked them yet or they don't serve them, period. Clearly COVID has taken quite a toll on the local restaurant industry and it is unfortunate to see. The other effect is I didn't notice how many coffee chains there were and what that was doing to local businesses. Like, I don't think I wanna go back to a Starbucks again. There's so many nice places elsewhere with better coffee and a better ambiance. And plus you're supporting local. So that's the big takeaway from this, not the croissants. Uh, it's that you should be shopping local, especially with your coffee, your desserts. Try what's out in your city, especially if you live downtown. That being said, Starting from right to, oh, I'm starting to forget where each one of these is from. Excuse my awful French. This one is from Le Moulin de Provence. Uh, that's the one with the Obama cookies. This is from the Italian Gelateria. It's the Italian gelato place on Preston. This one is from Byward Cafe, uh, Connor Mitchie's favorite place. This one is from Bread by Us. Uh, the local place that I go to on the way to work. This is from Mama Clafoodies, the French bakery out on the west side. And this one is from Ichiban Bakery, the Japanese bakery on Bank Street. We're gonna do two tests. A break test to see how many layers are there and how flaky they are, and then a taste test to see how good they taste. Let's go. I guess what we've learned is that color tells. The best croissants, at least to me at least, to the layman, are the ones, are the really thickly caramelized brown ones, and they're not the most expensive. They're both not from typically places where I would go. This one is from the, this one is from the Italian place, and this one is from Byward Cafe. So, I don't know what that tells me, but I'm definitely gonna to have to start going to different places. My recommendation, Byward Cafe, if you're on the east side, Italian Gelateri, if you're on the west side. And that's my recommendation. So, all in all, well, this is gonna be like my food. This is my lunch today. So, I'm gonna to have to enjoy a lot of these. 